joining us this morning. We've got some fun things to introduce today, uh, sort of some medium scale things, uh, but all of us want every single one of them, so we hope our customers do too. Today, we're introducing our third Intel machine, a Mac Mini based on Intel. Mac Mini is a really cool product. It's been received really well. People are doing all sorts of things with it that we never dreamed of when we introduced it. And so today, we are introducing a Mac Mini with an Intel Core Solo. This is a single processor Intel chip inside the Mac Mini. So how's the performance stack up against the G4 that we had? Well, if we compare it against the Mac Mini G4 in Intel or in uh, integer spec marks, it's two and a half times faster. In floating point spec marks, it's over three times faster. So two and a half to three times faster in the same size box. But we're also putting a dual processor in there, in the same size box, an Intel Core Duo. And now the performance just goes into the stratosphere. Uh, compared to the prior product, basically five times faster on integer spec marks and over five times faster on floating point. Now we have a few other additions to the product uh, that people have requested. If we look in the back of the product, we've added gigabit ethernet. That's an upgrade from 100 megabit ethernet in the prior product. Uh, Firewire, uh, DVI, and VGA out. We've added uh, double the number of USB 2 ports to four now uh, based on users' requests. Uh, analog and SPDIF optical uh, uh, sound Im audio input and outputs. Uh, and this thing's really quiet. Now, as you know, the Mac Mini has always been what we call BYODKM, bring your own display keyboard and mouse, right? And it continues to be that way. So you can use it with our products if you want, our displays and keyboards and mice, looks the best. Uh, but you can use it pretty much with any uh, industry standard display keyboard and mouse. So uh, if you've got a PC, you can basically just chuck the tower, bring in a Mac Mini, and have a much faster, nicer computer uh, using the same display keyboard and mouse. And of course, you can also hook it up to televisions. Uh, this happens to be a real nice one. This is one of the most popular flat screen TVs, the Sony Bravia. And uh, it's even got a nice VGA port that you can easy to plug into and looks real good. Doesn't plug into cell phones, though. <laughs> One of the other things that we're adding to the Mac Mini is front row. And that means we had to add a remote control. So we've added the IR sensor right in the front next to the disk slot. And of course, we use the same Apple remote, the six button Apple remote that's a little different than everybody else's remote out there, uh, which uh, they seem to take a few more buttons than we do to get the same job done. Uh, so what I'd love to do now is actually give you a demo of uh, front row running on the, uh, on the Mac Mini. So I'll just stand out here. There's my Mac Mini. And uh, to get to front row, I just push the menu button. So there's the screen of the Mac Mini. I push this button. And now I'm in front row. That's how easy it is. And so I can uh, look at my music or my photos, DVD, videos. So let's go to music. And uh, I'll go into music. And I'm saying, oh, well, let me shuffle songs. Oh, God, they forgot to load the content on this. Uh, hold on. Let me go back. Uh, songs. Jeez. Well, they forgot to load all the content on this Mac Mini. I guess I'm going to have to demo a new feature that we've built in the front row. <laughs> uh, shared music. We have this technology called Bonjour. It allows devices to find themselves completely automatically over a network and communicate with each other without any configuration or setup over wired networks, wireless networks, anything. And so if you have Bonjour running on your Macs, they can find each other, or your PCs, they can find each other all throughout your house. So we've built that into front row. And so I go into shared music, and Phil's sitting right here, and he's got a portable. Uh, <laughs> with all the content that was supposed to be on here, probably. And uh, so I'm just going to go into shared music. You know, here's Phil's songs. You know? I have no idea what these songs are. It's, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh, 
anyway. We'll just pick one. Yeah. So, pretty cool. This is all found Phil's PowerBook, or MacBook Pro, sorry, over uh, Bonjour, over the wireless network, showed me his content, let me pick his content all through front row, and when I decided to play it, just streamed it over and played it. So let's go back here, uh, and I'll go back up to uh, here, and I could take a look at some photos. Let's see what Phil's got for photos. Well, I haven't got any, so I better look at shared photos. And uh, we'll take a look and see what Phil's got. So here's some photo albums we've got. Antarctica. Let's see what that one is. You know, when I saw these photos a few days ago, I said, we can't use these. They're too perfect. Obviously, you didn't take those. And Phil said, no, I didn't take them. Ken Bereskin took them, one of the guys that works with Phil. Just got back from Antarctica and took these photos himself. It's amazing. So anyway, there's, this, there's uh, the photos on Phil's machine are pretty amazing. And uh, so let's go see what else we got. Uh, let's go into videos. And... Uh, so we're back on Phil's MacBook Pro again, and let's look at TV shows, and uh, you know, old Desperate Housewives, why not? <laughs> Silly people, okay. Previously? Fairview Society. So this is streaming, again, over Phil's PowerBook, over to this MacBook Pro, and we're seeing it up there. Video, photos, audio. So this is a, a brand new feature that we're adding to, uh, to uh, uh, Front Row, which is we're adding Bonjour to it. We're releasing this as an update this week uh, for the, uh, the new Mac Mini and all of the other machines that run Bonjour. Of the run, uh, sorry, front row. So if you've got, let's say, a Mac Mini hooked up to your television in your living room, you're going to be able to see the media that you've got on every other Mac and Windows computer that's running iTunes in your whole house. Every desktop, every portable that comes in the house, you know, you'll be able to see the media while it's there. It'll disappear when it goes. Just all happens dynamically. No configuration, no setup. So it's pretty cool. So let's take a look at the standard features in the Mac Mini. Uh, OS X and Tiger come standard, of course, and iLife 06. Uh, OS X Tiger and iLife 06, sorry. The Apple Remote and Front Row. Uh, Airport Extreme and Bluetooth built in to every uh, Mac Mini. Uh, four USB ports, FireWire, Gigabit Ethernet built in. Uh, DVI video out, so you can connect to just about anything. As, and uh, VGA included in that. SPDIF uh, and analog audio in and out. And uh, we got two models. The first has the single core processor, the Intel Core Solo, one and a half gigahertz. It's got a really fast front side bus on it, half a gig of memory, integrated graphics, 60 gig hard drive, and a combo optical drive so you can play DVDs as well as burn CDs. 
and the price of this is just $599. The second model features the dual processor, Core Duo, 1.67 gigahertz, same fast front side bus, same memory, same graphics, an 80 gig hard drive, and a super drive, so you can burn DVDs as well, $799. And both of these models are available starting today. So this is the new Mac Mini. And with the Mac Mini, this comprises 50% of our entire product line is now available with Intel processors in less than 60 days since we announced the shipment of the first products at Macworld last month. Half our product line in less than 60 days. Now, let's move over and talk about music. Um, I think you're all familiar with our latest two iPod models, the Nano and the fifth generation iPod. Uh, we've sold 42 million iPods through the end of last year. And uh, the market share data just came out for January. It's the latest data we have from NPD. But iPods uh, have a 78% market share of the entire MP3 market. Uh, and we're very proud of that. iTunes just passed a major milestone, which we hope you heard about. Uh, we sold our billionth song. And uh, we would have never thought this was possible when we launched iTunes three years ago. But in three years, in less than three years, we sold a billion songs. A billion sold in less than three years. We beat McDonald's. And uh, that's great. Our iTunes team is doing an incredible job. Uh, so let's move on to some new products in the music space. The first one, uh, relatively simple product, but uh, uh, something that a lot of us use. We're going to have uh, iPod leather cases. We've been working on these for a while. want to get them just right. Uh, these are sort of a, you know, well, I'd say they're a higher-end case, but you, know, you can pay $1,000 for an iPod case if you want to. So this is nothing like that. But uh, for us, it's a higher-end product. Uh, really nice leather cases for the fifth-generation uh, iPod and the iPod Nano. The iPods just uh, push into them, and you pull this little thing to get them out. They're really, really nice. And they're going to sell for uh, $99. And uh, they go on sale uh, in about two weeks, mid-March. So uh, we think these are going to be really good, actually. We can't wait to get them ourselves. So that's the first thing. Second thing, you know, we put a lot of work into making iPod uh, an indispensable part of on-the-go uh, living, uh, whether you're commuting or walking or driving or skiing or whatever you're doing. And uh, I think we've done a pretty good job of that. Uh, you see uh, a lot of people enjoying iPods and all sorts of on-the-go activities. Uh, in automobiles in this country, 40% of all autos sold this year uh, are offering iPod connectivity as an option. 40% of all the autos sold in this country this year. Uh, so uh, whether it's driving or other on-the-go activities, we think we've done a pretty good job here and will continue to. And so now it's time, I think, to, to add a second focus uh, which is in the home. You know, people uh, like to use their iPods not just individually, but you know, with their families or in groups uh, in the home, in the living room, the kitchen, the ski cabin, wherever. And, uh, and there are some products on the market that help you do that. They're powered speakers. Uh, they're, they're all reasonably priced. This is uh, uh, probably the, you know, one of the better quality ones. The Bose one sells for $299. It's been a big hit. Um, but the problem with these products is that none of them really offer home stereo quality. While you might get one of these, you're not getting rid of your home stereo, you know, because the, the quality level just isn't quite there. And, you know, what, what is home stereo quality, uh, you could ask? Well, if you're an audiophile, what you'd say is, is four things. One, if you close your eyes, there's a sound stage around the speakers. You don't, the speakers disappear acoustically. And there's like a stage around the speakers where you can hear the performers performing that's much larger than the speakers, right? So a large sound stage. The second thing, maybe the most important in some ways, is precise imaging and separation. Each instrument you can, you can place in space individually, 
right? Each instrument, you can, you can imagine where it is in that sound stage. And it's not, they're not all muddled together, right? They're separate, they're clear, and you can almost imagine, you can almost see where they are if you close your eyes in that sound stage. The third thing is a wide frequency range. You know, you want to be able to have great bass, but you also want to be able to hear, you know, the highest frequencies as well. And lastly, you do want room filling power, but without distortion. And most of these products, you know, a lot of products really distort when you crank the volume up. So today we're introducing the iPod Hi Fi. And it's a companion product to the iPod. It's really home stereo reinvented. Because what we see is your music is not in CDs in your cabinet anymore, it's on your iPod. And so your stereo is really ready to move.